Elbit, parent company of Universal Avionics, serves a variety of aerospace markets, including military, business aviation, and air transport. The Elbit Skylens tracks movements of the pilot's eyes to see what he or she is looking at through a wide vision wearable heads-up display. The new click and command functionality has the ability to control the FMS and flight deck with the pilot's sight. So we're looking at the Skylens synthetic vision view now. It can be switched over to an enhanced vision system as well, showing an infrared view of the terrain out in front of the aircraft when the pilot has little or no visibility. You'll see the, our destination airport for Santa Barbara, KSBA, with a tag over it. He can use a line of sight cursor to select a runway and the approach he wants to use. In this case, runway 25 VOR. Once he has selected runway 25 VOR, the Skylens will automatically update the FMS flight plan, post that flight plan on our primary flight displays, and automatically couple to the autopilot to fly that route. If for any reason we need to change our runway, in this case if runway 25 is no longer available, he will switch over to runway 33 right for a visual approach. You'll see that the aircraft will begin its left turn over towards 33 right, and Skylens will display an extended center line from that runway, which you can see is a dashed line out in front of us. Additionally, you can see the same extended center line from the runway on our InSight display here, and our flight path on the three-dimensional view on the display selected here on the co-pilot side. He's activating declutter now. As you can see, it clears all that background information. And you'll see the airport environment come into view on the right side of the synthetic vision display above. You can see the airport out in front of us now. The black area is actually a window, and with enhanced vision, you'll be able to see the infrared depiction of the airport through that window. If visibility is good, the pilot would see with his own normal vision the runway environment through that window with the synthetic vision still around it. Universal and Elbit plan to offer a complete cockpit, one of which they are already installing in an ATR. It could be ready for entry into service by early 2020. This is very exciting technology that will increase operators' capabilities to get in lower minimums in adverse weather conditions and low visibility, saving time, saving fuel, saving lost operations. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Also, visit AINonline.com and check out our e-newsletters for all the latest on the aviation industry.